This is how you can create your own custom emojis and images using Apple Intelligence. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use Image Playgrounds and Genmojis, which is all new features with Apple Intelligence on iOS 18.2. I will also have a list on the screen of all the iPhones that will be able to use these features. Sadly, not all iPhones will be compatible with Apple Intelligence and all the features that go with it. I believe it's only the iPhone 15 Pro models and later. But yeah, I will have the list on the screen. But if you are someone whose iPhone isn't compatible with this, but you still want to be able to use Genmojis that other people have have created and still be able to get access to these emojis i will have a method at the end of the video that you can also follow so that you can also use some of these emojis now before we get into this video i do want to thank today's sponsor which is esr for sponsoring this portion of today's video so i want to introduce you to a new product of theirs which is the aura magsafe wallet now i've used a few magsafe wallets in the past and this is definitely one of the best ones out there as the name suggests, it's a wallet that snaps onto the back of your phone using MagSafe. And one of the features that I appreciate most with this product is just how strong the magnets are. The magnets on the Aura wallet is said to be four times stronger than on other MagSafe wallets, which is really impressive and it does help to give you ease of mind that it's not just going to pop off whenever you're going to put it into a bag or take it in and out of your pocket and you really don't want to be losing your wallet. So this is really great. The Aura Maxif wallet can hold up to five cards. So you can store three here at the front and then two here on the inside. I also appreciated that it has these cutouts, which makes taking your cards out of the wallet really easy. On the inside, you will also see we have this clear window, which can be used to store an ID. So you can still easily show your ID when you need to using this clear window. Now, what's really great is this isn't just a wallet. It can also act as a stand for your iPhone. So you can easily prop up your phone either in portrait or in landscape and it's just really convenient so yeah that is the aura magsafe wallet from esr a beautiful and useful magsafe wallet that's made from animal friendly vegan leather and is also available in a range of different colors the one that i have here is the cream beige version so if you're interested in getting this for yourself or even a loved one in this holiday season esr is now running their holiday season promotion with up to 20 percent off until the 25th of december so make sure you take advantage of this deal i will have all the links in the description so yeah thank you so much again to esr for sponsoring this portion of today's video so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you're updated to the latest version of ios so you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go to general and then to software update and here you'll see mine says ios is up to date and it says ios 18.2 once you've done the update you will see you get a new app on your home screen and that will be this app right here so this is the image playgrounds app so I'm going to go in here and show you what you can do with this app. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it says describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. So you will see they give you a bunch of different suggestions of things here at the bottom, which I will get to. But for now, I'm just going to add in a simple prompt. So say I want an image of a waterfall in the mountains. So I'm just going to type that in, click on done, and then it's going to start to generate our image. So here you can see they give you a few different options and what you can also do is choose the type of illustration that you want. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and then you will see animation and illustration. So mine is set to animation at the moment, but I can switch to illustration and that will change the style of the graphic that is generated to be more like an illustration. Now, as you can see, this is now what I have going on here. I'm going to add in some another prompt to this image. So I'm going to say snow and done. So now it's going to adjust that image to look a bit different. So as you can see, this image here has some snow. I'm going to switch to the animation style. Maybe you can see it more clearly. So now it's like a snowy scene in of a waterfall in the mountains. So that's how you can add to an image and make it more precisely like the image that you want. Now, another cool feature is that you can actually create images based on certain people that you have in photos or of yourself. So here you can see this is me, but you can also go here to this little icon and choose anyone that you have saved in your photo library. So I have a few people here. So if I want to just use myself as an example, I'm going to click done and now with that same prompt, it's going <laughs> to put me in the woods <laughs> with a waterfall. But um, obviously you can change this. So I'm going to just quickly remove those prompts and just have me for a moment. And I'm just going to add in birthday. 
and now it's gonna generate something else for me so this is nice because you can make an image of whoever you want in your photo library in a birthday image for like a happy birthday image that you want to create so as you can see it does generate a few different options that you can choose from but like i said you can do this with anyone in your photo library you can even create an image based on a photo that you already have in your photo library so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna select choose photo i'm gonna choose this image that i have of my puppy and i'm gonna wait for it to generate an image so there is an animated version of the image that i just uploaded to the app and um again you can have different styles i'm going to switch it to illustration so you can see what that would look like so you can see it's a bit different i prefer the animation for this one and then also again you can add a few more things to this image so for instance i'm gonna say at the beach and now it changed the image to a beach scene instead of like a park where it was that one is really cute so that's how you can create a image playground image off of a photo from your photo library. You'll see here at the bottom, they do have suggestions of things that you can do to create an image. So if you don't know where to start or if you don't know what to add to an image, you can choose here. So I can maybe add like love to this image that we have here. And here you can see there are little hearts now added to this image just to add in that theme so these are different themes so first one here is suggestions then we have themes we have costumes so maybe i want my dog to be an astronaut now that is <laughs> what that looks like um, we have also here accessories which you can add and also places so if you want to change the scenery so it's nice that they do give these options so you can get a little bit of help when you're creating your images now if you want to remove something you can just tap on the image and then remove it so i'm going to remove the astronaut so now it's just this one i'm actually also going to remove the love and i'm just going to click on done here and then i can have this here i can also share this and save it to photos and here you can see these are the two images that we just created which are now saved and to create a new one i can just click on this plus button here and i can click on cancel to go back to those images so now when i enter into the app it's going to open up to the images that we created and then you can just click on this plus button to create a new one so that is image playgrounds so now let's get to gen mojis which is my favorite i think out of the two well the one that i think i'm going to be using the most at least so to access this i'm going to go into imessage i'm just going to message myself here um, so you're going to go to your emoji keyboard and then you will see your emojis and stickers that you've created and to access genmoji you will click on this little emoji with a plus button that you'll see here in the corner click on that and now we can start creating our genmoji this works similarly to the image playground so i'm just going to describe something that i want so i'm going to say cinnamon latte knitted and now we have some emojis of a hot drink that resembles a cinnamon latte and um yeah it's really cute you can also again add to this a bit more i'm gonna say cream so here you can see our generated emojis that are coming up and this also works with people so if i want to create an emoji of myself so i'm gonna say kayla so it's gonna detect me and i'm gonna say with dog now what's cool is if you don't like the way it's creating you or whatever you're using as like a source for this you can go to that person and choose exactly what photo it's going to use as a reference so if there's a photo you feel like looks a bit more flattering when it comes to emojis you can choose one of them rather than the one that it automatically selects for you i must say it's a lot more flattering creating image playground images of yourself than creating emojis of yourself but yeah that's how you can create an emoji of a certain person and there are many different things that you can generate using this um, and yeah i've seen some people make really cute emojis with this i haven't figured out the secret to getting the exact right prompts to get those really aesthetic emojis um but yeah i'm gonna continue playing around with this now something to note with these emojis that you create they're only going to be able to work as an emoji in apple apps like notes or imessage as you can see these are now um emojis these are two that i did create um so they're gonna look like emojis only in apple apps and if you want to use them in like whatsapp or any other messaging app it's gonna look like a sticker so i'm gonna go here to message myself <laughs> and um, if i select like this emoji 
it's gonna go through as a sticker as you can see now a cool thing with this update even if your iphone is not compatible with like these features with apple intelligence a feature that is available is that any sticker that you have in your sticker library um so obviously we have the ability to create custom stickers i'll show you that in a moment but any sticker that you add to your sticker library you can use as an emoji so a way that you can use these gen emojis but without really generating them yourself is getting other people's gen emojis a lot of people have posted them on threads i've seen them a lot but you can also just go to pinterest and search ios emoji stickers as you can see it's already a suggestion and you'll see some really cute ones that other people have made and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna save the ones that you want to add as an emoji sticker for yourself so i'm gonna go ahead and download this one this bow is really cute and you're just gonna go ahead and save all the ones that you want to add to your sticker collection so this is what i mentioned where i don't know how people are getting these really aesthetic looking stickers i have no idea what prompts they're putting in to get the cute results so once you've saved them how you can add them to your sticker library is we're going to go to photos choose the sticker that you want you're going to hold down and then select add sticker so that's what i mentioned that's a feature that came with ios 17 i believe where you can add stickers so now it's going to be added to your sticker library here you can also add effects to these which can be really cute but if you want it to look like emoji the original will be best Click done and from here you can just continue to add them so you can click on this plus button here choose the image that you saved and it will outline it click on add sticker so you can do this for all your emoji photos that you saved so now they're all here in your stickers section so now when you go to iMessage or whatever messaging app you're going to be using these for you can now go to your emoji section and you can use these as emojis because they're in your sticker library so you didn't even have to create them yourselves it actually saves you the effort of having to create your own emojis you can just use other people's designs and then use them as emojis in your messages. So yeah, if you don't have a compatible iPhone that will work with these Gen Mojis, then this is a really easy way to work around that. So yeah, that is how you can use Gen Mojis and Image Playgrounds on iOS 18.2. I hope you found this video useful and maybe learned something new. If you have any questions or just things that you wanna know more about, definitely leave a comment down below and I will get back to you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.